So yeah, my troop count's pretty healthy, people have a decent opinion of me. Uh, finally, the wars between the great powers have ended, and oh, would you look at that? Uh, the Reach appears to have gotten control of most of the Riverlands, except for the Trident, which is apparently now its own, own kingdom kind of thing. Okay, that's interesting. Well, the North has lost influence, which is always good, although the Reach has gained it, which is bad, but... Oh. Oh good, yeah, that old, that old chestnut. Doesn't that improve everyone's opinion of Oris now that he's exalted among men, in fact? Uh... Yes it does, holy shit. Uh, at full strength we'll have well over 100,000 men at our disposal. Well that will be lovely. In the meantime, we'll uh, we'll make our priority to have a son just as soon as our wife gets out of prison. Because obviously this is a healthy marriage, and you know they should have children as soon as possible. Well, things have certainly changed on that front. My goodness, the Reach has yeah, like most of the Riverlands except for the Trident. Weirdly, the Trident is its own is its own independent realm, which probably means it's up for grabs. And who'd have thought House Meadows would have made a comeback after I killed most of them? <laughs> and deposed them, like, at least once. So now, having waited so long to marry Oris to Muriel, we are basically waiting for Muriel to get out of prison, now that they are married. In the meantime, one possible way of getting the Red Mountains back would be to declare war on the Vale. It's pretty direct. Oh, oh, but I don't need to. Because... Oh, shit. Or I wouldn't need to if I could just convince someone to kill him. Because his heir is one of my vassals. So if he dies, it's inherited by... by me again. So I get to take it back. Yeah, we can invite her to our plot. So yeah, rather than the North controlling the Tor, that's now the Reach that controls that. Uh, oh, Roberts again engineered another feast for the entire purpose of pinching one of my territories off me. But he hates me an awfully lot, an awful lot less than uh, than he did. I'm assuming it's Rollingford he wants, but he never actually says, and so I'm slightly worried that he'll take back, uh, you know, one of my major territories, which he also has a claim on. I don't really want that. Oh my goodness, so there's a little tick box where you, you auto-invite plotters, that's amazing. So I'm guessing that anyone who will accept gets sent an invite, and then... And then there they are, yeah. Great. Well, that makes it an awful lot easier, actually. Good. So we're up to 81% plot power now. Muriel is still in prison. She doesn't have the best opinion of me, but uh, we'll work on that. I think after a little bit of counselling, we'll be, we'll be alright. By Song of Ice and Fire standards, this is a minor betrayal, really. One thing I can do is move my Master of Whisperers to to that area and see if that doesn't give me some kind of bonus. It, says it improves assassination chance, but I don't know if that's through plotting or just, you know, the old pay a guy to do it to approach. I'm slightly aware that the um, that the person who might inherit uh, Red Mount the Red Mountains uh, already has quite a lot of territory, but it's better than it not being under my control at all. Oh, terrific! We have uh, we have a claim on Hollowed Hall, which we will use. And we can pinch a little bit more of Duskendale, I suppose. Uh, I see no reason to delay, other than the fact that I need to... There we go. Hollowed Hall. 
I reckon I can probably usurp the High Lordship of Duskendale uh, if I win this as well. I say if. Oh, that's a few allies. If we can actually call in... Ah, oh, dear. Lady Muriel appears to be in the Oubliette, which I believe is, like, even worse than regular prison. So she's in, like, double bad prison. I really hope she gets out soon. Could do with smoothing that whole thing over. That's a surprising number of troops for Duskendale. I mean, it won't help them, but... But it's, you know, it's admirable that they're trying... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Lady Paramount, Lysana the First of the Reach has declared Reachman League Independence War. Um, so she is trying to make her territory in an independent uh, kingdom. Which, obviously, if I, didn't, if I didn't support my wife's independence claim, I'm sure as shit I'm going to support hers. So, um, yeah. That's 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 something that we're gonna have to deal with alongside the whole uh, Duskendale and Red Mountains thing. I don't know these amateurs. They get control of one and a half or two kingdoms worth of of territory, and they think that they can take everyone on. But no, no that's not how it works. Oh good, I was worried that for a second there would be a place that didn't have the bloody flux. And annoyingly it's in Stonehelm, which is where that bloke who's hopefully going to inherit the Red Mountains, that's where he lives. There we go, just shy of 10,000 troops. Uh, ah, it seems we're back to not being able to appoint our own captains, which is a real pain in the ass, but... It was fun while it lasted, you know, being able to do that rather than just having absolutely no person in charge. Oh, uh, there's, there's trouble with the peasants now. I'm having to chase these Duskendale troops around rather a lot. I, like, I, I couldn't care less about the Queen right now. So it can get, they can get to South Hall and quick, oh, okay, I think they dithered, and, uh, and it's cost them. Perfect. Oh, they've got cell swords, that's where their troop count is so high. Um, but there goes the left and right. And you'd think that we'd get a fair amount of war score from from this. Yeah, 70%. Uh, probably just need to finish off the remnants and, and that'll be enough. I'm certainly not going to drag this out any longer than I have to. I want to quickly grab my new territory and then focus on kicking the reaches can across the uh, across the whole of these seven kingdoms. It'd be such a weird kingdom to have the reach. Just the territories are so scattered. Uh, don't really want to give away the high lordship of Dragonstone. So no, I refuse. How did she even? How did she think that this was anywhere near a good time uh, to ask about that? We'll never know. I had no idea that I had a relation called Felina Baratheon. Oh, fantastic! Lady Muriel is is out of the dungeons. Hooray! Um, and she barely hates me, so that's pretty good. Um, terrific. Oh. That's a weird thing for me to be able to do. I get to vote in the limited crown authority thing. Hmm. I'll ignore that then. I don't really know 
too much about the whole Crown Authority thing. So there we go, we've won, won our war uh, for Hollard Hall. Awesome. Uh, decide upon civil war sites. Yeah, I can do that. This is a pretty easy choice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna side with the king. We can usurp the High Lordship of Duskendale as well. Um, oh, okay. That's, that's pretty cheap. Awesome. Wait, I got Duskendale? As in the whole... the whole... oh, wow! <laughs> that was the easiest thing. I just bought Duskendale. Nice. Um, I have more territory than I know what to do with right now. Awesome, that's a double whammy. I don't have to like go through the arduous process of making a claim on on, Hol on, uh, on Duskendale as well. I just get that. Not bad, not bad at all. <laughs>